In this tutorial we will discuss chemical shift and factors influencing chemical shift. Let's start with definition. The chemical shift is defined as the difference in parts per million ppm between the resonance frequency of the observed proton and that of the tetramethylsilane TMS hydrogens as reference proton. Introduction The change in the effective field on the nuclear spin causes the NMR signal frequency to shift. The shifting of such signal is known as chemical shift. The magnitude of the shift depends upon the type of nucleus and the details of the electron motion in the nearby atoms and molecules. The chemical shifts are also used to describe signals in other forms of spectroscopy such as photoemission spectroscopy. Some atomic nuclei possess a magnetic moment or nuclear spin, which gives rise to different energy levels and resonance frequencies in a magnetic field. The chemical shift is measured in equivalent frequency units which is then divided by the frequency of the spectrometer used. This gives the value of delta. Protons with the same chemical shift are called equivalent protons whereas protons with different chemical shift are called non-equivalent protons. So, delta or tau scales are commonly used for the measurement of chemical shift. The chemical shift delta is usually expressed in parts per million, ppm, by frequency, because it is calculated from. Chemical shift delta is equal to new sample minus new reference by new res. Where, new sample is the absolute resonance frequency of the sample, new residential is the spectrometer frequency, and new reference is the absolute resonance frequency of a standard reference compound, measured in the same applied magnetic field B0. Since the numerator is usually expressed in hertz, and the denominator in megahertz, delta is expressed in ppm. Factors influencing chemical shift. There are various factors influencing the chemical shift. They are Inductive effect. A proton is said to be de shielded if it is attached with an electronegative atom or group. Greater the electronegativity of the atom, greater is the de shielding caused to the proton. If the de shielding is more for a proton, then its delta value will also be more. Let's take an example of fluoroethane as compound A and chloroethane as compound B. Here, two signals are expected for each of the two compounds. The shielding for protons A in compound A is more than that for similar protons in compound B, as the distance from the electronegative atoms increases, the de shielding effect due to it diminishes. Protons B are comparatively less de shielded and hence will resonate at comparatively lower value of delta. Van der Waals de shielding. If the induced magnetic field opposes the applied field, then the nuclei in a molecule exert an external force, which shields the nucleus from the influence of the applied field and the proton is said to be shielded. If the induced field reinforces the applied field the proton feels a higher field strength and such a proton is said to be de shielded. In overcrowded molecules, it is possible that some protons may be occupying sterically hindered position. Clearly, electron cloud of a bulky group or hindering group will tend to repel the electron cloud surrounding the proton. Thus, such a proton will be de-shielded and will resonate at slightly higher value of delta than expected in the absence of this effect. This is known as van der Waals de-shielding. Anisotropic effect. In compound containing double or triple bond, Circulation of pi electrons about nearby nuclei generate an induced fields which can either oppose or reinforce the location of proton or the space occupied by the proton. The occurrence of shielding or de-shielding can be determined by the location of proton in the space and so, this effect is known as space effect. For example, consider an alkene. It is so oriented that the plane of the double bond is at right angles to the applied field. Induced circulation of pi electrons generates induced magnetic field which is diamagnetic around carbon atom and paramagnetic in the region of the alkene protons. Thus, the protons will feel greater field strength and hence resonance occurs at lower applied field. Hydrogen bonding. The chemical shift depends on how much hydrogen bonding is taking place and is observed in high concentrated solutions. Hydrogen bonding lengthens the OH bond and reduces the valence electron density around the proton. It is shielded and shifted downfield in the NMR spectrum. Alcohols vary in chemical shift from 0.5 ppm to about 5.0 ppm. 
the hydrogen bonded proton being attached to a highly electronegative atom will have smaller electron density around it. Being less shielded, the field felt by such a proton will be more and hence resonance will occur downfield. The downfield shift depends upon the strength of hydrogen bonding. Intermolecular and intramolecular hydrogen bonding can be easily distinguished as the latter does not show any shift in absorption due to the change in concentration. If hydrogen bonding increases, the shielding increases, and absorption at downfield occurs. And if concentration decreases, hydrogen bonding decreases, and absorption at upfield occurs.